had another question. Someone wanted to know, is it okay to do fasting and keto if I'm on heart medications? Now, the first thing I want to say is um, everything that I talk about is not meant to um, substitute for your medical care. Check with your doctor before taking this advice. This is mainly uh, meant to be used for more research with you and your medical doctor. That being said, there's some real interesting points about this topic. Most people that are on heart medication are either on a statin to drive down the cholesterol and the LDL. They're on high blood pressure meds, diuretics, uh, also anti-clotting like warfarin and aspirin. Okay, and there's a lot of other medications as well. So let's first start out with cholesterol medications. Would, would a keto diet interfere with cholesterol medications? Well, the big question is what causes high cholesterol? What causes high LDL? It's high insulin, hyperinsulinemia. It's too much insulin in the blood. And that's why diabetics have high cholesterol and high LDL because they have a lot of insulin in their blood in the first stages of diabetes type one until it goes down. Then they have to then take insulin, okay? So uh, fasting and keto will lower the insulin uh, and also help lower cholesterol and especially LDL. Okay, high blood pressure. Well, first of all, what causes high blood pressure? What causes stiffening of the arteries? You guessed it, high levels of insulin. And fasting and keto can help reduce this and help the uh, flexibility of those arteries. Now, I'd also mention to add potassium because potassium deficiencies alone can cause high blood pressure. And if anyone disagrees with you, um, ask them what diet you should be on, a high carbohydrate diet. You wanna add more uh, carbs to raise more insulin. It's just gonna actually spike your blood pressure more. Um, and then the idea of reducing salt is fine, but you need to also increase your potassium because potassium and sodium work together. And the more um, ratio of potassium to sodium that you have, um, the better the blood pressure. The problem with diuretics is it pulls out potassium. So it creates a potassium deficiency, making the sodium actually more. And when you have low potassium, you actually increase insulin resistance and it causes more insulin. So not a good combination. Okay, then you have anti-clotting. What causes a clot in the first place? High insulin. So by doing fasting and in keto, lowering your carbs, you can reduce the risk of uh, stroke and cardiovascular accidents. Now, if you're on warfarin, you can't do leafy greens, so you're gonna have to watch the video below and make mental note of all the vegetables that you can have that are low in vitamin K, one. Now, the other interesting point about the heart that is different than the skeletal muscle is this. The heart muscle does not have a glycogen reserve. It doesn't store sugar like muscle tissue. The heart muscle prefers to run on ketones and fatty acids. In fact, 85% of the fuel for the heart is fatty acids. So it loves fat. Why wouldn't you want to do a keto diet? Now, there's another interesting study that talks about high insulin, hyperinsulinemia, as a predictor for major adverse cardiovascular events. So the healthy version of keto and intermittent fasting are especially beneficial to the heart. Hopefully the eventual goal is to wean yourself off this with the help of your doctors, but you need a long-term plan to get at the root of this problem, which is this right here. And by the way, this is behind the metabolic syndrome, which basically describes high cholesterol, high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, and belly fat. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.